slave to technology here. We're going to start it off. Hi, everybody. All right, well, good evening, everyone. Today is Thursday, April 3rd, 2014, 7 o'clock. It is the Board of Selectmen meeting. And first up on our agenda is a request to hold the 18th annual Ride to Ed Alzheimer's on Saturday, July 12th, 2014. Come on down. Hi. Come on down. I'm Deb Backrack, still volunteering. And we appreciate it. This is my 17th. 18 years wow. ago at the event. Um, I just have a quick summary. It's pretty close to what uh, most of you have seen in the past. There's a total of four and a half miles of okay. roadway uh -huh. in Bolton. Come down on um, Harvard um, Harvard Road. We cross over onto Manor. We go on to um, what I caught it, and we exit on Berlin. So we're in town for 15 to 20 minutes, maybe. Um, there's one correction I did want to make note of. In the letter that was sent, it said there would be approximately 400 riders. That's for all events combined. The only route that comes through uh -huh. um, is the 100 miler. We typically get between 100 and 120 riders. Okay. So it's not 400 people coming through. Okay, that's fine. And I'm sure you've talked to the chiefs about this? It has already been signed off. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Okay. Works for me. Since we've done it 17 times before. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Actually, at one point in time, there were more miles in um, than there are now. Yeah. 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 I, I move that we uh, approve the request of the, uh, the Alzheimer's Association for the memory ride on Saturday, July 12, 2014. Uh, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, next up, we have uh, Dianalt Liquors attached. Request for three replacement signs. Yes. Come on down. Let's see attached. Oh, oh, you know what it is? Attached to the original. Yes, that's what happens when I bring it. I take it for up. Oh, right. <laughs> That's what happens when I bring it early. Yeah. All right. I know your pictures aren't that great, but everything's pretty much going to be the same size. Uh huh. Okay. Just nicer looking. Yep. Um, the only thing I would like to request, if possible, <laughs> uh, sign A, it's fallen down and it's broken. I'd like to replace it completely uh, with a new sign, the PVC. Uh huh. Uh, you know, sleeves and it'll look really nice. And it's already lit. Uh, there's a, a power source up there already. And then on the building itself, um, it'll actually take up less space than the one that's currently mm -hmm. there. Okay. And it'll all match and be. Okay. Wait, where's sign, where's sign A? I'm having a hard time visualizing. It's where actually, you know, with the pizza. Um, uh, Classic pizza. Okay. Yeah, there's a little corner right next to their parking lot okay and there's a there's a sign right there mm -hmm. um, i think mr bob is all he owns all that property right there uh, where the store is down the street okay. so the scale is the same as the existing signs yes and they're just going to have a little different shape this is the type uh our store in berlin has the same type of shapes and colors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they look yep. really nice and old school kind of goes with the you know the yeah. old school look What's the what's the color? We only got the black and white. Oh, here. I'm sorry. This might be a, help you out a little bit. They're burgundy with gold letters. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. Like and the one on the uh, corner, where uh, off of 117, might have some reflective qualities to it, so you can catch it with a street mm -hmm. light or something like that. So okay. No, it's fine. No, and the tagline, coldest beer in town, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Hudson, we have had that for years, so we decided uh -huh. to keep that. That's, so that's, that's that kind of your uh, trademark? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but, um, and we'll do everything to make sure that that's a true statement. <laughs> but no samples, though. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come down and check for yourself. Uh, All part of my community outreach program. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, well, I move that we approve these signs as um, as requested and as shown in the uh, the layout diagram dated uh, three twenty six fourteen. Okay. Second. 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 Second.
Mm -hmm. I would also like to uh, maybe add some landscape to the one that's out close to mm -hmm. 117, as long as the uh, landlord gives us permission to sure. do so. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, I'll second. Okay. Any discussion from the audience? Uh, hearing no further discussion, all those in favor of signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mind if I take that one back? No. Sure. Next up on the agenda is an update on the cable license rule. Yes, you should get Can't the um, building permit out. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can. If you go right into the next room, put it on the wall, you'll see them there. I don't know if you're going to take time, because we don't necessarily have to fill them up before we talk about them all, if we don't want to, but you'll have the information. Okay. And it's right over here around the corner. Yeah, just right around the corner. And then the other thing I have to check with you is picking up the so what I wanted to talk about is the fact that the current license expires a week from Monday and um, we're not really ready to have the renewal so one of the things that, that I would like is to have a letter signed going to Comcast just saying well the, it's not signed but we're still working with you on it and things like that so that it, it uh, just acknowledges the fact that it was there and, mm -hmm. uh, and that we're still working on it. Um, some of these bullets just indicate some of the things that are still in discussion. There's nothing overly sensitive about it. The, the coolest thing, though, of this update is in the fifth bullet, uh, when I originally wrote this summary this afternoon, um, I said that we had contacted, or that we were, had been in contact with Charter to see if they would do it, and went on from there. Well. An hour later, they did it, and so I was able to. So I was able to rewrite this. Um, so Charter has stepped in and agreed that that they're willing to provide the residents at uh, 256 West Berlin Road with cable and high-speed internet service. That's great. And it won't cost any additional for the installation because there are poles going there now with electric on it, and Charter said it's no big deal for them, and so they'll put it in. Great. Um, so they need well, two things. Like customer service. <laughs> The board has draft letters, uh, both draft letters in the past. So they need, they need two this things. Um, they need a letter from you as the issuing authority uh -huh. that says it's okay for them to serve in town because normally, um, as with the Comcast license that we have, um, a town usually just has a single um, cable provider and if they do have more than one then they they would have licenses with both of them. I don't think it's necessary, and our attorney doesn't think it's necessary to have a license, but you as the issuing authority at least need to authorize them to do it. Okay. So that's what the one letter is, and the other letter that they would need then is something from Comcast which says we're okay with this, and they've already said they would do that. Uh -huh. So I've uh, hit them up for that letter, and they'll be providing it, and then that okay. should, should solve that problem. And the nice thing, the other nice thing about it is that as far as we know, it's the last house in town that could have service, I'm sorry, that that couldn't have service that wanted it. Right. So there are, there, there, there are certainly houses in town that don't have cable service, but it's their choice, not Comcast. Uh -huh. This was one that, that fell outside, and so it, it kind of cleans up the whole process for the the new license we can yeah. basically declare victory that everybody who wants it can yeah, have yeah. it and then, then go forward from there. That's great. Um, so then it lists a few of the other things that uh, that are part of the of the license process um, including a drop at the a cable drop at the senior center and they will be able to have uh, free limited basic service in the senior center which uh, they have not had before at all so mm -hmm. now and I, I should clear up though the the drop is into the senior center itself the residents who are there already can or if they want to get cable service okay it's just, just the senior center didn't have it okay probably because either they didn't know how to get it or because they thought they had to pay for it but mm -hmm. now we've cleared that up so they don't have to pay for it so that'll be a good thing that's super um, so that's really, uh, yeah. unless you guys have questions, that's really, uh, it's those two letters, the, the one okay. to Charter and the one to Comcast about the license extension. Mm -hmm. um, 
that I've been looking for signatures on, and I would hope to be back with a renewal license at one of the May meetings. I should know better in the next few weeks uh, if that timing is feasible or not, but uh, at this point I don't see any reason that it shouldn't be because mostly it's just the lawyers agreeing on the language of things. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great, Ken. So, <coughs> but I'm happy to answer, answer any questions. No, I mean, you, you kind of have a good set of bullet points. I'm fine with that. So, Wait, so what, I, I had just one question, Ken, which during our hearing that people, they, or the schools made the point that they, um, with the um, the scrambled signal was a particular problem in the schools because right. uh, right. is is there a solution in, in well, that view on that? Yes, and that's the third from the bottom um, bullet. They at Comcast said that they would give us some information about a multiple device that the school could buy that would allow it to fan out from one to because right now they have one coming in, so this would. If they put that in, then this would would send that signal out the way it needs to go for the cost of one thing. I have no idea what that is. Comcast wasn't offering to pay for it, but they are at least going to get us the information we need. Mm -hmm. I just haven't done that yet. Okay. Um, so that's that's one thing that they that they did there. Now, the school had also been interested in seeing if they could purchase their wide area network, but Comcast wasn't interested in that, which isn't surprising. Um, and um, and then we're still doing a little bit of discussion about um, an education channel. Um, Comcast is willing to set it up so that the three towns are interconnected for an education channel. Um, we would have to pay for it, but they've said it's only $2,000, so it's not, you know, it wouldn't break anybody's bank, especially if it's split three or four ways. If you included the schools that might want to chip in, then. Uh -huh then it's really not a lot of money. Um, so I don't know whether we'll end up wanting to do it anyway, but I'd like at least like to have that yeah. approval in okay. there. Uh, so there's still language that's being worked on on that, but... Uh, do we need they, to include Berlin in there so it can be fed back into... No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, and in fact, the, uh, in fact, the one thing that, that, uh, <coughs> that the homeowner doesn't get out of any of this is bolt access TV. Right. So <laughs> they, they basically become part of the Berlin system. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so they wouldn't be able to get us, but that's... So you do all the work they, and they... Yeah, yeah, but, at least they get, but at least they get the, uh, the high-speed internet, yeah. which is what they... Yeah. They were having a lot of yeah. trouble with up to this point, and so that that's even more important to them, I think, than having cable, and so so it'll be very good for them, I believe. So you, you, you just need a, a, a vote yep. uh, to have the board authorize you to sign both, okay. both okay. letters on their, on their behalf? I, I move that we, we approve and have the chairman sign the, uh, uh, the, the letter to uh, Thomas Cohen at Charter Communications regarding the, the property at 256 West Berlin Road and also the letter to Mr. Perlman at Comcast Cable noting that negotiations are ongoing and that the current license is remaining in force during that time. Uh, second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, that two, that two thousand dollar fee for the education channel is that a one time cost? Yeah, that's one time to to do a, some kind of interconnection at the head end. I believe it's in Maynard that would tie. Lancaster in right now Stowe's already can receive channel 99 uh, so that, that there's some kind of connection already there for that Thank you. but there isn't for Lancaster so it would be it would be to uh, uh, it, would, it would be a one-time interconnection yeah, okay. okay thank you do you want me to know these out? yeah if you can email them tomorrow and I, I'll send you the addresses okay uh, I think it, what I would suggest to do is PDF the letters and just attach them to an email. Sure. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll give you all the email addresses uh, after I get home. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for all your help on proofing the warrants as well. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Do I need a steak? <laughs> Are you guys home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to stay? <laughs> all right, well, since advisory is still next door, why don't we let, uh, why don't we go I'll forward and let the uh, town administrator uh, do his uh, report to us? All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first, I will 
on behalf of uh, the, the, the group, I will uh, I will discuss the um, the townwide yard sale, which. So the uh, the townwide yard sale, which has uh, which is being done again this year, and I believe it's been quite well received in the past. Um, the, um, the the date is May third, and the time this year will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, that's an hour longer than last year, but participants can choose to ch uh, close their location early. Uh, the rain date is the following day, May 4th, but it's noted only if there is a deluge. So I guess if there's a deluge on May 3rd, there could be a few arcs at the yard sale on May 4th. Um, applications are, uh, will be available at the town hall, the library, and Bolton Orchards, uh, or also on the Bolton local website. The fee will be $5, which should be sent to Mary Board at 350 Still River Road with the application no later than April 11th. Maps will be available by Friday noon, May 2nd at the Library of Old Orchards, Fire, Water and Wine and Slaters. And Police Chief Alfano has already given his approval for the event. Okay. Is Fire, Water and Wine they soon to be diagnosed? Yes. 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 But it's not yet? Not well, yet. The, the signs aren't up yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's in transition. Right. Um, right. So um, the uh, uh, Bolt Local is asking the, the selectmen to vote their approval to hold the town wide yard sale again this year. Okay. Well, my wife is threatening to participate. I think I'm going to flee the jurisdiction, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I move that we have we approved the uh, town wide yard sale on May 3rd from a 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, second. Any further questions, comments? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, next update on Minuteman. Uh, the only update I have is that uh, Lincoln held their town meeting. They were the first in the district to hold their and uh, their annual town meeting uh, to vote. It was last. It was Saturday, March 29th. Wow. And um, when they got to the article on the regional school agreement, they voted to pass over it. And we'll, they believe they will be having a special town meeting later this spring, so it's not seen as a showstopper. Because as I as I clarified at our previous meeting. Um, not having a negative vote isn't good enough. We have to have an affirmative vote in all 16 uh, communities. Okay. So, so they're having another town meeting? They're having a, a special town meeting later this spring, but then it will be taken up then. Okay. I should say, yes, later this spring. Wow. I, and I don't know if the date has been determined yet or not. Okay. Um, so we're not panicking over that yet. <laughs> but that's not a one issue town meeting necessarily. I didn't say it was. Yeah, okay. So, next is an update on dispatch regionalization. Uh, I just wanted to let the board know that um, I hand delivered the uh, grant application to the 911 headquarters in Taunton last Friday. And um, they were actually good enough to open up the packet, review it, make sure everything was as it should be. And I've received a, a, an email receipt acknowledging uh, the submittal. The deadline was actually this past Tuesday. And um, the timeline right now would be that um, a grant award would take place if we are awarded the funds in late May, early June. So I'm assuming early June. Uh, so I will keep you posted on that. And unless um, the board has any other questions for me, that's all I have this evening. Okay. Do we have any, while there's some discussion on some new signs around the, the new um, 495? The, the new lanes are on 495. Um, the last, have a follow -up on? I, I did follow up on it. The um, the district director agreed that there should be new signs there, and then weather hit. Okay. Uh, but now the weather seems to have stopped hitting. You know, the expectation is that they'll be up, but I will be following up with them again. Okay, excellent. I guess the other thing they have to do is move that uh, sign that the compression of the lanes going mm -hmm. west. In front of uh, Freddy's. That's right. That's, you're absolutely right. Okay. <coughs> All right. All right. So we'll go back to uh, item four, which is the review of the annual town meeting warrant. Okay. I believe the board has three recommendations left to vote. Um, beginning. No. Oh, yeah. We have another one. 
Five o'clock issue. For, for anyone who doubts, the, for anyone who doubts the need of an early, for early cutoff date to get things done, I just will note that yeah. the last version was done at 5 p.m. today. Yeah. Um, so the first article would be Article Two, the reserve fund account for FY14. Um, and we uh, had noticed um, that there had not been a summary type for this, so I put together a summary that today to add to it. So I think as of uh, when we met with advisory on Tuesday, that you're going to keep this in here and either you'll plug a number into it or you'll ask to pass over it? Yes. Okay. So advisory has recommended, uh, they've deferred their recommendation to be given to town meeting on town meeting floor. Is that what you would prefer to do as well? I would assume. I, I think it would make sense. So I had a question on the, on the um, the summary, when, when we're, you're saying that the, the fund has been exhausted, we don't know that yet, right? But we won't go to this if it hasn't been exhausted. I think this was my Well, it, what, if we, what if we said, um, uh, uh, just sort of uh, had, had language, let's say 100,000 in the reserve account. Um, uh, it's close, even if it's close. Maybe near or is, is approach, well, um, is it is approaching yeah. exhaustion. I could make it. It was the only definitive <laughs> near, statement I could make. Like near depletion. Um, How it almost go? May need supplementation. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be supplemented. Mm. That would be a way to put it. But you know, yeah, I'd like to qualify. It may need to be supplemented, and then we're doing things that if if it if that becomes true, we're, we're going to make that recommendation. But I don't want to put it in there that it's. Okay, so I will strike the words has been exhausted and add may need to be supplemented. Okay. okay. I move that we uh, include in the warrant uh, the language that our recommendation will be given on town meeting floor. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Now the next article is Article 3, the FY15 operating budget. You know, before we get to the, the, the article as a whole, I, I had, um, I, want, I want to make an amendment to, to the language in the, in the warrant. And uh, Mary Boyd had a letter in the, in the paper last week in which she, she made some excellent points um, uh, about a, uh, a decision to, to cut $5,200 from the, the Council on Aging. And it, and it reminded me that you know, our budget, we always think in terms of dollars, but the budget is in a lot of ways a policy statement as to what the town's priorities are and, and how we're going to, you know, achieve our goals. And I think, you know, the, the, scene, the Council on Aging's budget overall is fairly modest, and I, I think that um, the activities coordinator or program director, whatever you're going to call that person for eight hours a week, um, 50 weeks, uh, a $5,200 expenditure, I think, is, is appropriate. And so I would move that we incorporate that into the budget, which will mean that I think at, at uh, for the Council on Aging wage line, it would increase from $7,550 to $12,750, and that in order to have that follow through on Article 3, there would be a, a, an increase of $5,200 in the, uh, the $20 million 938-683 figure. And so that's going to be $20 million as, as proposed. Um, Twenty million nine hundred forty-three thousand eight hundred eighty-three. Right. And that in order to to uh, provide revenue for that, that we increase the sum to be raised at by fifty-two hundred, so that it's um, twenty million four hundred thirty-five thousand eight hundred eighty-three. Um, is 
that a motion or is yeah. that? Okay, I'll, I'll second the motion and then we can. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I know you raised this with Don the other day. Um, I think it, you know, I think for all the reasons that you stated, I think it's, um, it does make sense. And to some extent, I think one of the arguments, I think in a, an advisory committee meeting was uh, the, the question of whether leasing the cruiser and spending an extra $3,000 on that, either, you know, we're not spending 5200 on this, but since we're buying the cruiser and not leasing it, we sort of found <laughs> the 3000 of that 5200 so, but I think for all the reasons you stated, I mean, their, their budget is modest, and uh, you know the, the, the seniors uh, do contribute quite a bit to the town. So I'm I'm good with it. I think just I mean I, I think I, I I'm for for the reasons that, that Larry stated, I, I I agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, I would like I think we we need to be clear that whoever we whoever's hired for this is not the assistant director or director in training necessarily you know that they're not right and, right. and i guess the other the other piece that i'd like you know given kind of in general our you know our, our push to to regionalizing some of the these functions where we can is part of what i'd like the person to do would be to coordinate or contact some of the surrounding towns to see and kind of how they address it and see if there's some sharing that could occur you know, not for this year, but going right, forward. Right. To, if it's not being done yeah. now, if it's not being done now, could we share and you know share the the expense between a few towns? Right. You know, not consolidating the senior center into one place, but right. you know, yeah. each would so, but consolidating kind of this activities coordinator to yeah, you know, if at all possible, if if, if, if possible. <coughs> yeah. Okay. my recollection from those discussions is they were looking for fifty two eighty. It actually worked out to 5,200 even. Okay. And the way we get to that is uh, eight Tell hours. Of get done. No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> David? Uh, I would point out, even before your proposed action, the Council on Aging budget is up over 11%, which is more than double what we're increasing the general budget. So we weren't making a policy statement uh, negative towards uh, the council on aging. In other words, we were increasing by more already than, than the rest of the budget being increased. Well, but their 11 percent is still not a very good number in the grand scheme of things. Randy. Yeah, I just want to point out. Um, so, not a heck of a lot of money. Um, our, uh, at least personally, and uh, and we had a lot of discussion about this. But the, what we were trying to get our head around was the addition of a head. We asked if we could, we've been, or at least personally, been sympathetic and very supportive of the Council on Aging. We had asked if there was an opportunity to, pro to give some money more or programs, some money. Uh, we even said could we increase the director's hours, a couple hours. We, we, uh, to, to say it differently, the, not, the amount wasn't necessarily holding us up. It was the addition of a, of a head count. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a eight hours right. a week that won't approach budget uh, or uh, benefit level for a while, which, you know, we were, or hopefully at all. Right. Um, and that, those recommendations, essentially taking some money and putting it into other places to the budget weren't necessarily uh, appetizing to folks. So I, I just want to point out, we were, you know, you obviously will respect what you guys do. And I think, you know, the Council on Aging for all of the reasons pointed out is a, is a, is a, is certainly a worthwhile cause, but it wasn't necessarily the money, it was the head. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not sure if that bothers anybody, but um, that's sort of, I think, and I, don't, I can't see my colleagues over there, but yeah. that's what right. we're doing. But, 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 I think, TV yeah. but, I, but I think also, I mean, if, I mean, we're not talking a huge sum of money, and sure. if, it does, if it does bring the benefit that, that we all expect, it's good, and if it doesn't, we can stop it. Revisit. We can sure. revisit it, and you know, so so it's not like we we're committing to some something huge here. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to. Yeah, point no, out no, no, and, right. no, 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 no. We tried no, to no. put the money in no, other certainly. places. We, I we understand. I know that there was a lot of discussion about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the other thing too is we were wondering, and we never did hear really, what the do job description of the job requirements are of the director. 
So we were thinking maybe this could fit into her purview. But we really were not sure exactly what she does. Mm -hmm. And it's and I'm sure she does just what's required of her, but we just didn't know if mm -hmm. maybe this was a role she could do as well. But I think it's a, it's a worthwhile uh, endeavor to move forward and try and if it doesn't work out, we can stop it. We can revisit it. And, and, and so, anything else, uh, Larry, on, on that part? Yeah. 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 Okay. I think with a couple caveats that I put in there, I think I'm good with it. Okay. All right. So, uh, any further discussion, questions, comments? Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. I would just. Yeah, could yes. the advisory have a chance to vote on the changed budget? I was just going to point sure. out that that's something Absolutely. we would want to do. Um, so does advisory, somebody want to make a motion on the new budget? Yeah, I'll move that advisory recommends approval of the budget for the amendment. Is there a second? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any further discussion here? All those in favor of uh, approving the amended budget, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. So the motion passes from the advisor. <coughs> Thank you. Now, Mr. Chairman, I believe the last remaining article that it requires. Um, we, we haven't voted on the full. Oh, article. I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah. I, beg your pardon. I, I was going to move that we uh, that the selectmen recommend approval of Article Three <laughs> as amended. <laughs> uh, I will. <laughs> Reluctantly second. I'm not happy about the school budget portion of, of the budget, but we'll, well, there's yeah. nothing we can we can't carve that out separately. Right. So well, that that's that's, that's uh, something for another day. That's something for another day. Yes. Um, all right. Okay. So you, you all right, second. I'm seconding it. Yes. All right. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying. Oh, Randy. No, I, I no, don't worry. I was gonna. Echo Mark's comments. Um, oh, what? One of the things that bothers I love this budget. It's, I, I believe, it, and I've said it before, I think it's one of the better budgets we've produced. I think one of the byproducts of that, unfortunately, is that the, what I still feel is a very lo uh, very uh, aggressive school budget uh, with a lot of percentage increase is sort of slipping under the radar here uh, a little bit. But, um, uh, you know, well, but those, to your point, right. uh, those things, you know, I, no. I, I think I agree with Mark. No, it, I, yeah, it's, 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 I, I'm not necessarily happy with that because we were expecting something less than that. Uh, and of, of the additional dollars that are in this budget versus last year, almost all of it is the schools. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the school committee chose not necessarily to, um, look at some of the reductions in the tier one, tier two, tier three category. And I think you know, out of our original $580,000 assessment, they, they took out about 35 grand. So, I mean, it's not much at all. So yes, I mean, it's, uh, uh, as we all know, you know, over 60% of the entire budget is the schools. And if you look historically, the vast majority of the increases the real increases in the dollars we've had to raise are due to the schools. So, but uh, we'll take that up at a, another point in time. All right. So I think there was a motion. I think yeah, there was a second. Was I yes. think I asked if there are any questions. Any more questions? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, I would. We recommend you to. So the one remaining article that you have yet to. Uh, Make a recommendation on is Article 26, the replacement fire apparatus for $545,000. And as we all know, the selectman met with um, advisory Tuesday night yep. to discuss how this would be handled. Yep. Yep. It, it, you know, and I, I just want to comment that I had some questions as to, um, it, or, or I thought we needed a, a sort of a, a capital plan for the for the fire department before we, we did this. And but but since I made those comments, the, the chief has has put one together, and uh, I I think it makes sense. Um, he he also makes the point that that engine one has uh, got a, a 25 year life, but that's not 25 years on, on front lines, and that the uh, what's being proposed is a piece of equipment that is going to be able to get to every house in town in all weather conditions. And so um, 
So I guess as a result, I move that we uh, recommend approval of uh, Article 26. Um, second. Okay. Any questions, comments? All the up, yes, David. Uh, just to reiterate, uh, I think it would be better to use a ban for the whole thing than to use the 300000 for tax relief. Hmm. Thank you. But uh, at meeting on Tuesdays, you were there, we, uh, the consensus was to uh, use 300000 of free cash and to finance the other 245. So, second. Da, da, da. Yep. No more questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, that brings us pretty much to closure, believe it or not, on the uh, <laughs> warrant. Okay. Um, do, we, do, do you need to review the, the state of test? Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mark, did you get your copy of the state? One thing I just should remember to do is to go back. We had it on the counter. When you change the advisory committee recommended number on that uh, Council on Aging thing that you did. Oh, that's yes, we'll yeah, right. That. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, I think there was one edit that uh, I could. Walk you on. Yeah, so you just want to yeah. we'll we'll be, with we'll that, be, that be used. Yep. <coughs> and we have to, this, oh, this is right. still in flux. The, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's now. Because it, it, it will remain a Okay, it's, it's, it's right. Because I, I wasn't thinking oh, gotcha. whether we were going to take it out of free cash or yeah. not. Yeah. So that's why I thought that that's what we just did. Oh, that'll be 235. Oh. short term. Okay. 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 Thanks, Ken. All right. So, anybody have any uh, changes they'd like to say other than no? The, but those two? those two is on your draft. I, I Mark, recommend. Mark, just you? reading it for the first. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Let's try again. You're on. Got your own on the counter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> while, you're, you're on time. while you're waiting. Uh, advisory has approved a statement for the ward. It will be amended and emailed to Linda later this evening. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Good luck with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't there, don't change, change the bargains. <laughs> <laughs> and the ransom fund. The ransom fund. The ransom fund. The ransom fund. There's a, there's that would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> there's, a, there's a special place in heaven for Linda after all the work that she's done on the this year. Uh, oh, good. She, Finally. She dragged, me, she, she dragged me to the finish line. I'm not sure that, uh, oh. that well, I, I, I am sure that the warrant would not be of the quality that it is without all the work that Linda put into it. Now. We miss her, too. <laughs> All right, so we're good. So uh, uh, those two changes, which I'll make, I'll get to you. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Well, someone's got to make a move. I move that we uh, incorporate the Board of Selectmen's statement that uh, the chair drafted as with his two little edits. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. All right, so next up is our business. And uh, do we have any minutes? Oh, we have to wait, step have to vote to execute the warrant. Oh, oh, all right, let's execute. All right, well, who brought the gun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this morning would have asked you to execute the town of Minister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
We are going to be handing that out. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That's we'll that. We'll be that. handing that out at town meeting, and we will be handing out the okay. the, the single sheet, two page, uh, two sided statement. Okay. Time to go to the. Town clerk has already signed off on having that material on her table for handouts. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right now. Hmm. We do not have minutes. Okay, that's fine. We'll get to them next time. What, what have you been doing with your time? <laughs> 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 Uh, I, I do have something I just every once in a while I, I just bring this up uh, it's more of a public service kind of thing when I, when I think of it two things uh, folks um, when you go to the transfer station I know people are are good about um, recycling and they're also bringing in their um, beer bottles and soda cans and soda bottles and whatnot and I see lots of them in, in either the aluminum you know bin or in the glass bin but as you come up to the transfer station as you crest over there there's a little red building sort of on the right hand side that's the boy scout little barn and they collect uh you know uh, uh bottles and cans that have deposit on them i mean that's their primary vehicle for fundraising in town so i'm glad that you, everybody brings them up but if you could just sort of stop there and drop those off and, and then go on to the other stuff at the transfer station, that'd be great. And I'd also ask, um, having years ago uh, been part of, of Boy Scouts where we had to pack them up and haul them someplace to get the dimes and nickels for those. Uh, if you could rinse them out, that would be great. Uh, if you could rinse them out. as we get towards warm weather. <laughs> towards warm weather so that there's really not any liquor in them anymore, uh, especially the beer and no cigarette butts. That would be great because uh, the kids handle that stuff. And then that and also the glass, you know, the liquor bottles and the wine bottles and et cetera that go into the various bins. You know, as summer gets there, uh, it is a haven for uh, bees and wasps. So if you could rinse the stuff out, that would be great. We would appreciate it. Yes, Mark. Uh, uh, Stan, thank you very much for mentioning that. And I would just like to clarify for those who heard you that when the Boy Scouts are handling all of this stuff with liquor and cigarette butts, there are uh, always a couple of adult supervisors yes. there for the process. Yes. The Scouts are not permitted to work in there and unattended. Sounds, right. And for the vast majority of people who drop it off, everything's fine. But there is once in a while, you know, a, big mess. a little bit of mess and also, you know, for mess. Right. Is this something that could possibly be put, or maybe it is, on the DPW website? <coughs> Under the transfer station? Oh, maybe it could. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, with this kind of... Sure. If it isn't, I'll take a good suggestion. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. On behalf of Scouts. Connie, do you have a question? No. Okay. No. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that, that's all I have. So, I, like I said, everyone has a while when I think of it. I, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I do not believe we need an executive session. We do not. Okay. Uh, so, uh, is there any other business you gentlemen would like to chat about? No. Anything in the audience? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Alright. Bye. 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 Bye.